pretty much Angelica is a, like a chili pepper. She's like a child on fire. Um, when she has her mind made up on something, she goes for it. I find her to be very assertive, very, um, a very bright young woman, and who already has set for herself some nice goals in life. Um, a lot of them surround around her golf, but also uh, helping others. I think that when you have siblings, like she has um, a brother on the spectrum, I think it, it brings another dimension to a person's character, and I think that's been nice to see and easily seen in her. When Jeremiah was very, very young, uh, we were at the barber shop, and Angelica was with us, and uh, because at that time, uh, he would make these strange, Jeremiah would make these strange sounds, and for whatever reason, perhaps the barber didn't like it, and so we had to leave. And so it sort of set the stage for Angelica to say, well, Dad, there has to be a better way or a better environment for kids like my brother. I believe golf is just a wonderful sport that I, that I think everyone should play because of all the skills and life lessons that you learn. And so that's what, you know, that's what pushed me to start Angelica's Angels. Angelica, when, when I entered the program, was kind of in the, the latter years or the latter stages of, of the first seed program and her service project uh, was actually developing um, a curriculum for an after-school program at the Chartwell Center. The Chartwell Center began in 1999 and it was actually um, developed to establish best practice when it comes to working with individuals on the autism spectrum. Angelica started volunteering here at the beginning of, last, of this school year actually and it's been a wonderful program because um, we're working with some of the characteristics that are unique to individuals on the spectrum. So uh, incorporating the golf program has been a real asset because the students, it gives them the opportunity um, to work on a lot of the areas uh, in which they can develop some of those skills. I think that having a personal connection to, a, to the cause is very important because you're more motivated to m keep bettering your organization and it impacts you deeply too as well as the cause you're helping. I would say that it, it, she's mature beyond her years. She never gets ahead of herself. She kind of knows who she is. She tried to maximize her potential and when she did that then she she would come to somebody like me and f try to find another challenge that she could uh, to reach. But the biggest thing I challenged her on was to get her ACT scores up. And so she came to me with an ACT score and I said, you know what, if you can get your ACT scores in the 30s, the sky's going to be the limit. Uh, she only scored a 17 on her ACT. And it was really interesting because she knew at that, at that score she would not be able to fulfill her dreams to go to a very prominent school. And so for the next nine months she worked extremely hard. And by the end of that year, <clears throat> Her ACT score went up to a 32 with a 35 in math. Because she did so well on her uh, standardized test, she wanted to offer it to other children uh, who may not have had an opportunity to pay someone to tutor them to get ready for like these ACT and SAT tests. And so she tutors, um, I think it's 17 children. She not only teaches us strategies, but how to approach the test. Like it really took a lot of, it really took the load off, like, you know, looking at it as, something that's scary, that's something that's impossible to do, but the stuff that she taught us, it was really applicable to the test. I would like to say that she's going to be um, a female corporate CEO someplace. Um, I, I don't think that that's that far reaching for her. Um, I think she's going to use let golf be her vehicle. It's very easy because golf is an individual game for, for kids to be very selfish um, with their contributions to the game, to really just focus on th their games personally and, and, and to get better as, a, as a, a golfer. But I think every single day Angelica thinks, how can I make the place that I live a better place? She's taken her role, you know, as a as a junior golf leader to another level, you know, trying to put her stamp on the community and also help people. And you know, for somebody to do that at such a young age is pretty remarkable. 